What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the Carolina Hurricanes signing Noah Hannafin to a three year entry level deal that will have him foregoing his last three years of college hockey at, uh, at Chestnut Hill at Boston College. Definitely a uh, blow to the Eagles. But, you know, if you didn't see this coming, then, well, you're naive. Um, you know, it's just the nature of the beast. Um, you know, Hannafin accelerated his studies to play at BC last year at age 17 and uh, did not look out of place on a BC team that had its inconsistencies. Uh, you know, I, I, there were times I loved what I saw from Hannafin and there were times I didn't love what I saw from, from Hannafin. But I think you look at his upside at age you know, 18 right now, you know, as a as a 200-pound defenseman, you know, 6'2", 6'3", you know, he, he's got the amazing skating ability and, you know, his upside really is Drew Doughty. Um, now we'll see. I mean, you know, let's to, to say, oh, this kid's Drew Doughty is like, eh, tap your expectations on, but there are going to be growing pains, especially early on. But I really think that, you know, his skill set will um, will translate. There's going to be flashes of brilliance, but again, they're going to be, you know, it, it was like BC last year, going from the development team to Boston College at 17 is a tough adjustment, and then going from you know the NCAA to the best league in the world is an adjustment as well. Um, but again, I think the skill set is there. It's a matter of him putting it together, and you know, I think he'll do that. You know, you're looking at a kid that was playing into older competition all um, all year last year, and uh, you know, at times looked absolutely brilliant. And again, there were some growing pains. I'm not gonna you know sugarcoat it, but that's what that's how prospect development happens. You know, kids don't go from you know playing pond hockey to being Bobby Orr overnight. It just doesn't happen like that. You know, there are gonna be ups and downs and peaks and valleys. It's not always a steady trajectory. That's just the way it goes. Um, so, again, I, I think he'll be up a lot next year in Carolina. And the good thing is, being a collegiate player, if he does struggle, they can send him down to Charlotte for a couple of games, get his confidence back up. Um, and, you know, the AHL is a hell of a league, you know. So, um, I think he's really in a good situation uh, with the Hurricanes. As for Boston College, huge blow to that Rosen four chances next year. Uh, right now, the thing is, all eyes are on Jeremy Bracco, um, you know, one, one of their top recruits. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, second round pick. Really, really good offensive player. Kitchener has his OHL rights. People are saying Toronto likes to stare guys to the CHL. You know, that's. I, I can I understand the argument, but I don't think it's as cut and dry as that. Um, but we'll see what happens. You know, if Bracco and Han if they don't, if Bracco doesn't end up going there, they lose Anipman. They've lost uh, Mathis in this offseason. Got to be a tough, uh, tough year at BC. But you know, when you got a guy like Alex Tuck and you know a goal like Thatcher Demko. Um, you know, BC will be, and Jerry York is the best coach in college hockey. Um, uh, I'm not afraid to say that. So, you know, we'll see how it all shakes up, but definitely a, uh, an expected move. And I talked about it last week on the show, so it is what it is, quote Bill Belichick. That's on this episode of, on this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes through the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.